In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at Dream Suite's Instamatic Frame Effect. Now you're going to notice that my image has a lot of empty space around it. I did this on purpose so that I would have plenty of room to work with in the effect. After I've selected the effect, the first thing I'm going to want to do is move my photo around within the frame. To do this, I'm going to choose my Transform Photo tool click and drag to move my photo around. Okay, now that I have that where I want it, I'm actually going to clone this effect by using the clone effect tool and clicking within my workspace. This is going to create a copy of the frame. The currently selected frame will be in black, whereas the unselected frame will be in blue. All right, now let's just make a few adjustments to get this exactly where I want it. Now that I have it where I want it, I am going to actually change the picture in my second frame by using the Place Photo tool, clicking on Load Image, and choosing my new image. And you can see that the new image has actually been placed in the second frame. And my first frame still has my original image in it. Now, I'm going to move the original frame into the foreground by going into my edit menu and clicking on bring to front. Okay, now my original frame is in the foreground whereas the second one is in the background. Now to keep these frames from looking so computerized we can actually go under our surface tab and change around the surface dirt tab which is going to give it some smudges and some dirt to give it some character. Okay, all right, and now to keep the edges from looking so square, I'm going to use my Edge Fray tool and just kind of draw around the edges to give them some ruffles, wrinkles, lumps, that sort of thing. Okay, I have that where I want it now, so I'm going to select my secondary image, and we're going to do the same thing increase our surface dirt. I'm going to actually make the surface dirt a little stronger on this background image. And now I'm going to apply my fray. Now if you accidentally apply too much fray in an area, there is a way to delete it. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Let's create a big circle here and you're going to see it's not going to look very good. The way to remove that is to click, uh, to hold down on your Alt key and just simply draw over the area you want to remove. And there it disappears. Now lighting is a very important part of Dream Suite. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go under my lighting tab and show you a little bit about how it works. All right. Now let's move around our light to see what happens when we change its position. Okay, now my image has gotten darker. I'm going to actually change my light color so that it appears different on the frame. So now it's kind of a rosy color, which I actually like. Now, when I increase my ambient light, that's going to affect how much white light is actually placed on the image itself. I don't want too much of that and I actually like this image darker. This just goes to show you how dynamic and interesting Dream Suite can be and how many different options you have. That's all for this video.